lot of different people were asking me if me and Amy ever did third class when we did the Trans-Siberian because obviously in all the nine or ten videos I made I didn't show any third class um, seats or beds. The truth is we did take two third class trains. Once, uh, one of them I think was to Yekaterinburg and it was only a six hour train ride and the other one was between Irkutsk and Ulan Ude and so it was an overnight third class train ride. Um, of which we didn't get very much video. I did get a small few shots, which I'm going to show you now, just to give you guys a taster of what it's like to travel third class on the Trans-Siberian. So this is where me and Amy are sitting. We've got a seat here, table and a seat, both there. For the first time in our Trans-Siberian journey, we are actually taking a third-class carriage. So there's a, there are 80 people in this carriage and there's not much space between everyone. So there's four beds across from us right now, see? Um, and then we're sitting on two seats right now, but at night time the table comes down and turns into a bed and one person sleeps right there, <laughs> up there. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's very different to second class where you have a private cabin for four people and first class where you have a private cabin for two people. So like I said, there's 80 people in this carriage. Kind of feels like a hostel dormitory on a train. <laughs> didn't do it too much was for comfort. Um, I'm quite tall, I'm like 179 centimeters and we did find that the beds in third class are quite a bit shorter than the beds in second class. So if I lay down on the bed my feet were over the end and so every time someone kind of passed by they would kind of hit my feet. So obviously it kind of curled up but it wasn't the most comfortable way to sleep. Um, but we did quite like that there's a lot more people, there's a lot more going on, people are playing cards and people are drinking and people are chatting and colouring and watching movies and it definitely had like more of an atmosphere and also I loved that um, there was more families, there's a lot of families there, a lot of locals, way less tourists, um, not that we met very many tourists anyway on our entire trip. But yeah, it was a really cool experience. I don't think I would go the whole way from Moscow to Vladivostok in third class, but I definitely think you should try one or two nights and do um, an overnight train ride in third class, uh, just to see what it feels like. So apologies, this video is not longer. Um, and I just wanna give a big shout out to all my new Russian followers. It's so amazing that you guys have been watching all my videos. Um, and I've got a few more videos to come, just about my experiences in Russia, how friendly the people were, and some of the top places to visit. So, see you next time.